Welcome everyone. Uh, I have with me, it's my privilege actually, to have with me Chris George and Humphrey George here today who are long-term uh, contributors to our Gawler business economy. Why, why Gawler and why, why do business in Gawler? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Nia. Uh, I came to Gawler in 1957 to do a locum as a pharmacist for a, a pharmacist, Oz Connolly, who was unwell. And uh, I enjoyed Gawler at the time. I was here for eight weeks, uh, living in the Prince Albert Hotel uh, with a very noisy street at the night time. <laughs> uh, but in a very enjoyable company. And uh, I thought, well, this is a nice place for a country town. There were only 3,000 people living in Gawler at that time. And uh, after my tour of duty, I then did another uh, two years on locum work. And then one day, uh, Oz Connolly, uh, the, the previous owner, rang me and said, you know, I'm selling the business, I'd like you to buy it. Mm. And so we, were, we came here in uh, mid-59, just after we were married, and uh, I've spent uh, yeah, 60 years, 50 years in the pharmacy. And uh, when I was here, uh, just as an aside, I, I, I felt that, you know, Gawler had great potential uh, for development. Uh, it had the best of both worlds. Um, yeah, currently in Gawler, as Humphrey said, we've had a long history in Gawler back to 1957, and I, um, I, I didn't get the chance of, of making, a, didn't get the choice to make a decision to come to Gawler. I was born here, so that was good. <laughs> um, but currently we're involved, have been involved for many, many years in the health industry, mainly pharmacy. Uh, currently involved in the Kingsford Hotel and a number of commercial buildings around Gawler. Uh, and also a look into the future. We think there's um, a big opportunity for further development in Gawler, particularly in the health industry, uh, retail industry, and, um, and other developments. Yeah. Could I just say a couple of things about councillors' role in development? Yeah. And, um, and I'd encourage council to do more of it because they're doing a great job in these two areas. But one is the, um, the your developers forum yes. and the fact of council being proactive yes. and going out to developers and saying, this is what we're planning to do. Yes and what are you planning to do and having that two-way dialogue so you yes. can encourage developers to yes. that they, they know councils behind them in these certain areas. Yes. Um, I think there's an opportunity perhaps for council to, if you haven't already, to, to generate maybe a blueprint for the future of you know, the, how the town looks. I've wanted to do that for a while, Chris, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've got Gawler Invest, but it's not, it doesn't really nail the, the invest in like a, because prospect did a prospectus right. and I'd really like to do that because they had planning, they had opportunities yes. and, and where their vision is yes. and I think we could do that yes. easily yes. Uh, because you know we could we could give a vision to the main street we could but we've also got Gawler Green mm -hmm. and we've got Springwood mm -hmm. and you know if Concordia comes in we've got that area yeah. but we can also talk about you know how people move around the town yes. and what they're looking for mm -hmm. and put that in the, mm -hmm. in the document mm -hmm. and yeah, I, right. I, I think we could easily do that um, it, it might take a little bit of work we we do need some extra people to bring in that expertise mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. um, however uh, I think it, I think it is worth doing mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, for sure. yeah yeah so yeah. I, th I think you're right we're getting getting council on the front foot working with developers working with the business community mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just having that collaboration mm -hmm. and seeing where we go That's just, right. you know <clears throat> developing our main street into a point of difference anywhere else in the region mm -hmm. yes. Yes. so that we have our, you know, we have our restaurants, we have our cafes, we have areas where you can go and get your beauty done, your hair, your hair done or your face done or mm -hmm. whatever, whatever mm -hmm. it is, the yes. nails done mm -hmm. yes. uh, or, you know, buy clothes. Yes. I, I just think that's, that's yes. the future. Mm -hmm. I'm well, not sure what you think about that. I do because a big factor is that a lot of the people north of Gawler will not drive any further than Gawler. No. They, they fear going into the bypass, etc. Yes. Uh, the amount of traffic, and therefore we supply it. We've always had all those facilities, the solicitors, yep. the doctors, in yep. the main street, in the yep. main core of the business. Yep. So I echo exactly what you say, that um, make this a regional centre for yep. the northern district, yep. and yet kept, retain the atmosphere of the town. Mm. Well, mm. and, that, and that's, a, that's the balance, isn't yeah. it? You know, yes. Ensure that there's there's a character of the town, uh, and the, and I think our point of difference is our is our heritage, yes. mm -hmm. yeah. and ensuring that we don't lose that character. Yes. I think I think will be critical. Yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, thank you for coming along, okay. and have a great day, everyone. Yeah. Mm.